And tonight we have new details on that weekend police shooting that occurred in Burbank. Kick Cal News with some editor Mike Rogers is at the desk right now. What's the latest? Yeah, Jeff, so two things have happened today. First of all, the uh, Burbank Police Department put out some additional information about the shooting. Now, I want to go back to that video and show you this happened in the Home Depot parking lot. Now, I had a chance to talk to uh, the Burbank Police Sergeant back and forth tonight over email to get some additional information because they say after all this was said and done, that suspect did not have a gun. You'll remember we reported and told you over the weekend that this person called 911 saying he had a gun, according to police, and said that he was going to start shooting people in this Home Depot parking lot. Well, Police are now telling us that when they arrived at the Home Depot parking lot, they made contact with him, they tried to talk to him, and they say he got out of his car and took a shooting stance. Now, they say that's when police opened fire and shot him. He would later die at the hospital. Now, uh, here's what we've learned. He is a 47-year-old Ruben Ramos of Los Angeles. As we come back out here to the desk, police say that object in his hand that when he took that alleged shooting stance was actually a knife and not a gun. Here's what's weird, Jeff and Susie. The attorney general's office is now investigating this case under AB 1506, which was a state law that was passed that requires them to investigate police shootings where a civilian was killed but was not armed at the time. I've asked for clarification on the discrepancy. Burbank police says he was armed with a knife. The attorney general's office says they've had to step in under AB 1506 because an unarmed person was shot and killed by police. So Burbank police have referred me to the attorney general's office. I'm waiting for the attorney general's office to clarify whether or not he actually had that weapon in his hand when he was shot, guys. Certain to have a follow-up in the future on this one. Yep. I'm sure, Mike. Thank you.